Welcome back, Wolfpack. Verlis here, and let's look at Eviolite Scyther. Eviolite Scyther is actually really broken when you kind of break it down in comparison to its stats. That, when you look at this, we have 70, 110, 80, 80. With Scizor, 70, 130, 180. So pretty much your special defense and hit points are the same. Your attack is only 20 points lower and your defense is only 20 points lower as well in comparison to Scizor. Also look at the speed difference, 105 speed compared to 65 speed. Those 40 points are still in your speed which means that while not having priority you're still going to have potential to set up really well. Also Scyther has access to Eviolet, it's not a fully evolved Pokemon so that means its defenses are going to be higher and your overall defensive bulk is better than Scizor's. Now, the problem for Scyther, though, is its typing. That with the bug flying typing, it has many more weaknesses and many fewer resistances. Scizor is supposed to be a Pokemon that just has a huge resistant bulk and only one thing that makes it weak, but that's what makes it strong. With Scyther, there's a lot more weaknesses, a lot more common weaknesses, and overall you're not going to be able to resist, but you do have higher defenses against the neutral hits, so it is a trade-off. The idea here is, kind of want to run it the same. High amount of hit points, High amount of attack, go with the adamant nature, and now you're just going to be really hard to knock out with neutral hits because defense and special defense are pretty solid. Looking at it, what it can do, it's pretty much going to Swords Dance, Roost, Aerial Ice, and Bug Bite. Now, Bug Bite is a tutor move, so if you don't have access to that, you can go with X-Scissor, but it is nice because Bug Bite can steal a berry, which, steal a citrus berry, that's like the most god thing that could happen, and then with the uh, Bug Bite, you know, it's going to get that technician boost as well. Scyther also kind of isn't as strong as Scizor because it doesn't hide behind the priority. It doesn't get that stab boost on the bullet punch and it doesn't obliterate the opponent, but it still has air lays. Does not check accu accuracy, gets stab and technician boost, so it does hit really hard with those swords dances. Also, Scyther is a reliable, fast Pokemon that with 105 base speed, you can go jolly, you can give it that hit point bulk, and then you can go for swords dances into baton passes that if you predict that they're going to get a stat boost or if they're going to try to switch, you can set up a substitute and then you can try to safely get some swords dances in with your bulk and once you're too low, just baton pass out and now you're giving Pokemon a lot of swords dance boost or you can just fight for yourself. That if you feel confident enough, you can still aerial ace, get a lot of damage out there and still be a very solid Pokemon overall. So yeah, it's just a surprising thing what Scyther can do because that heavy light boost makes it tankier when not comparing any kind of defense, or when not comparing types to Scizor, which doesn't, it doesn't look like it, but Scyther also has that huge attack stat, that when you go back over here at level 100, 350, so one Swords Dance and you're at 700 attack, any more than that, and you're going to start be, and you're going to start breaking a thousand on your attack, while being still a good bulky Pokemon. I was also looking at the other ideas that what you want to do is you want to be a tanky Pokemon, that put some investment into the hit points, round out the rest of your defenses, and then you have Roost to, with the Eviolite, and you're going to be a very hard Pokemon to 2-3 hit KO, which means reliable setup, and then the Swords Dance. This is where we start looking at trade-offs, though, that if you can kind of see the idea here is, you do you want to set up quicker with the uh, higher set, but you are more prone to getting 2 or 1 hit KO'd, or do you want to try to like get that Swords Dance going? take a bit more time, not have as much damage in the long run, but really just have more staying power. And that's like kind of the compromise that you have to make. That when we compare it at level 100, you are losing out on 100. Like we have 256 compared to 350. So I mean, it takes two swords dances to catch up to this one swords dance, but in certain cases this bulk can give you that extra turn that this one, that this set wouldn't. So you can also trade it off like that, and then there's just the baton pass if you want to simplify things a lot more and not have to worry about all the crazy breakdowns. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Eviolite Scyther, very strong, dare I say, OP.